you know, brokers are really important for small businesses and I know brokers have got a pretty rough time in, in the Royal Commission recently, but brokers provide for, for small businesses an opportunity to see the various products that are available on the market and have somebody who understands the financial market more broadly and be able to put to, to small businesses the sort of products that will be best suited for them. We were um, really pleased to be involved in putting the code of lending practice together for the fintech industry because we found over quite a long period of time that the interest of small businesses in fintech lending has escalated significantly because we're seeing banks be more risk averse, be much less willing to lend to small business, particularly in the unsecured loan space where they're not lending against you know, your uh, home, your residential property. So small businesses obviously need loans to be able to grow their businesses, but access to capital is a huge problem. But we were also really aware that it was important that in the growing fintech industry, there was also some protection for small businesses. The Code of Lending Practice has set a new standard for the way that not just the, the fintech lenders need to be considering their businesses and the way they operate, but also the broader commercial um, finance industry. And you know, the heart and soul of, of all of our businesses is the small business owner. Uh, most of us have been small business owners ourselves and yep, gone through the, the journey um, and the pain and the challenges. And the Code now creates um, not just a set of best practice principles, but really an enforcement structure around it to make sure that there is compliance, to make sure that there's not just best intents, but actual real tangible action happening. Things like having a loan summary page with the key terms spelt out. Having a summary page is really important. That explains to a small business what they're borrowing, what they're gonna pay back, you know, the important bits that they need to know for their, for their small business. But it's also great to the people we're talking to today, and that's the brokers, um, for them to be able to have a tool that can show people exactly what a comparison looks like and what they'll really be paying and whether a loan is appropriate for them. If a product has got that tick, then you know that there's a complaints mechanism, there's requirements for appropriate behaviour, appropriate customer focus, all those sorts of things must be a really good thing for brokers too mm. at a time when things can be uh, pretty, pretty difficult out there for some of them at the moment. This uh, must give them confidence. We know that credit is a good thing in business. It can help you run and grow your business. Increasing access to it is very, very important and finance brokers are very important to our business. We know small business owners look for advice, they go to finance brokers when they're trying to get guidance around product selection. And I think they can take a lot of pride from knowing that when they do provide the right product to a small business owner, it does have a positive economic benefit on their business. So I suppose at the end of the day, this is really about giving small businesses the opportunity to have access to the capital that they need to grow their businesses, to employ more Australians and get the economy going. And that's in all of our best interests. It certainly is.